I'm Chris Besnecker, PCI's VP for Strategic Initiatives. In 2006, I was dispatched to Ethiopia to help in responding to a prolonged drought. I encountered a young man with his family in an emaciated herd in search of pasture in an area that was barren and dry. His family was told that there would be pasture here, only to find after 14 days of walking barren land, the place where his animals would soon die and his livelihood lost. Over and over again, I was hearing the same story of loss from pastoralists using the same traditional methods for migration decision making. A combination of word of mouth, indigenous knowledge, and reports from scouts to try and pinpoint where to find grazing within an area that can cover thousands of square kilometers. In one community of about 30,000 pastoralists, they were losing 21% of their herd each year, with a local market value of about $8 million. Conventional wisdom was that if they couldn't find grazing, it's because it didn't exist. Meanwhile, hundreds of millions of dollars are spent on responding to these kinds of losses, mostly in the form of food aid. But this doesn't prevent or even come close to replacing the productive value of the animals lost. With funding from the U.S. Agency for International Development, through its Development Innovations Ventures Initiative, partnering with the government of Ethiopia and the World Food Program, we've piloted an approach called SAPAR, which stands for Satellite Assisted Pastoral Resource Management. We teamed with one pastoral community to map traditional grazing areas, then using special imagery derived from a geostationary satellite situated 22,000 miles above North Africa. We were able to create digitized versions of those grazing areas with vegetation coverage updated and emailed every 10 days. Pastoralists for the first time had a complete view of their grazing area and could continuously monitor changes in vegetation coverage throughout the year. Combining the maps with traditional methods, this allowed the community to make more informed migration decisions. The results were impressive. Herd mortality dropped by 47% compared to the previous three years. Every category of animal experienced a precipitous drop in mortality. Almost 80% of the population used the maps for migration decisions, and more than half said the maps were their most important source of information for making those decisions. We are now expanding SAP Arms reach in Ethiopia and Tanzania through the continued support of USAID's Development Innovations Ventures Office, as well as Google through their Global Impact Fund. We believe SAPARM has demonstrated a simple, cost-effective way that can help improve pastoral resilience. For more information about this program and all of PCI's life-changing work around the world, visit www.pciglobal.org.